When we last left off, you guys walked around and got into a bum fight. I didn't. One of you did. Yeah. Um. There was some exploration of the Bode College. I mean, not Bode Guild. Uh. And then you guys were meeting up down at the uh, swells at the entrance to the rise. However, I believe Aussie is the only one of the group that was still off doing his own thing. If I remember I mean, correctly, I'm done doing my thing. <laughs> I was gonna meet them there anyway. Okay. I think I was with Riker. <laughs> Although yeah, I want I to stress that I don't want to actually leave, like, the safety of the swell. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, uh, Edward and Riker, you two were together because, Edward, you went a different way to try to avoid the rest of the group. Specifically Alton, because I know for a fact he's probably wanted. Or if not, the bums probably want to kick his ass. Alright, mm. and so, fine, and... Alton and Holden were all traveling together across the slums. I would like each of you to give me a perception check as you come out, out oh. on the other side. God, here we go. Uh, except for fine. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is leg stolen. <laughs> Hang on, I have to get my sheet set up. No, he had his puppet stolen. Oh, yeah. Something... In case any of you want to know. Alright, Alton this and Holden. Klaus told me... This is what our next enemy looks like. Just saying. It's canon. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> that is canon, I'm yes. Done. Anyways. Oh, um, the hell. So, okay, this is easy. Just got on the water. Alton and Fine. Well, Alton and Holden. You notice that Fine seems to have found something off in the distance and is walking off towards it. Okay. Do you continue on your path, or do you go towards who? Or do you just do something else? I don't know. Should we stop her? I, I don't, don't know. know. Wait, she's high, isn't she? Oh, yeah, yes. That's, that's her default state. Let's follow do her. Do you really have to ask? I'm gonna follow her just because last time we left someone alone, he got into a bum fight. So. Let's follow her. <laughs> True. Alright, so you begin to follow Fine. Um, I would like both of you to only stealth checks. Fine, what is your passive perception? Twelve. Alright. Ah! So, Fine, you continued off on your way to find what you were looking for. And... Uh, you found this, um... Little bit of a yeah, looking place in the slums that you thought might be a good place to sell this. Um, as you walk in, there's a guy with about three teeth in his mouth and a nice yeah. turban on his head. He's sitting on the on a pillow on a rather low setting uh, counter top. As you walk in, he looks up to you. Well, hello there. What can I do for you today? Um, I walk up to the counter and I just say, Hi, uh, what can I sell here? I buy all kinds of things. I have these two daggers that I want to get rid of. How much would you take them for? <laughs> uh, one moment, I gotta look in the back to see what the kind of prices are going. And he steps off into the back room. A moment passes. And you notice Alton standing in the doorway. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> what the hell are you doing following me? Is anyone else with you? I don't know. I just look kind of like weird and was walking somewhere. And, you know, I just don't want anybody to get robbed again. 
you're the one who did the robbing. No, I didn't. I got robbed. I didn't I mean, take it. I'm Do just I'm off gonna... doing personal business. Oh, okay. Okay. So then I'll turn and wait outside. As you turn around, you see two goats standing there. Oh. Please step out of the way. Still uh, gonna step out of the way. Just like they are. Alright. You step out of the way. And they walk up to fine. Please put your hands behind your back. What did I do? You told my father that you wanted to sell him daggers. Uh, Is that a slight in this country? Extremely. You were checked for weapons when you came in. If you're a foreigner. Um... Uh, I, I can explain. They're, uh, they're blunt daggers. <laughs> I mean, I haven't bought new ones in a long time. They're hardly weapons. Quickly smashes them Children's against rocks. <laughs> Please put your hands behind your back. <sighs> well, I don't really want to argue with this since I can't pay this off. I just carefully put my hands behind my back and kind of sigh. Uh, do I see this? Like, yeah, this is happening right in front of you. Holden, uh, you are probably on the outside because she didn't uh, see you. So you saw the goats come in and you hear all this going on. Uh, I'm going to actually step in and see if I can't get her out of this. Just because I'd prefer not to have anyone in jail at the moment. I'm gonna back up and uh, watch from a distance. I'm gonna so, try to get their attention. So as you step in, you see the goad handcuffing Fine. God, this is gonna hurt me a lot more. Uh, I'm gonna try to get their attention any way that I possibly could. Just shout, hey! <laughs> One of the gods looks over. Uh, everything all right? I just wanted to know, and I'm gonna hold up the. I'm gonna hold up my mask. Like, I just wanted to know if you want to know where this guy is, because he's kind of passed out in an alleyway down there. I don't know what you're talking. Damn it! Well, is this the guy of some importance? Did he steal something? Yeah. Are you trying actually, to report a crime? No, yeah, you know, it's like he stole, like, drugs from the place down there. The docks, yeah, that place. Did he have the drugs on him? From what I saw, he kind of maybe ingested them already. He still had the bag with him, if that's any better. Uh-huh, I'll... I'll check it out, and one of the two goads walks off in the direction that you pointed. Just down this alleyway, down to you, he points at one, like, 200 feet away. Uh, yeah, that one, I think, I think it's that one. Right, he begins walking off that way. I'm now... <laughs> I am now going to go and try... Oh, wait, there's still another one. Shit. What am I going to do with this one? Alton, help. You're good at crime. What do I do here? Oh, uh, at this point, Fine has been fully Please. handcuffed, and he has begun to walk, walk towards the exit. Okay. <sighs> I have an idea, but it... I have an idea. Yeah? And we may have to run after said idea. Um, as you are talking about your ideas, in the open, in front of a goad, uh, are you two responsible for who? Uh, yeah, we are. Alright, if you want to pay the bail, you're going to have to come down to the jail with me. How much is the bail before we leave? Uh, 75 gold. Whoa. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine for me. <laughs> I'm good. 
I shoot a fireball at the guard. Oh, an attack. I don't have a fireball. You okay. know that. I, I, I figured, Although, but... <laughs> so, okay. I'm gonna kind of whisper in Alton's ear. Kind of <clears throat> like, okay. I have yeah. an idea. Yeah. I need your advice on this. Yeah. If we try to knock out this guard, how fast can you run? Uh, not as fast as you. Hey, uh, guards, could you make a perception check for me? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I feel like, uh, I feel like we should just let Arthi handle this with his guard buddy, or his guild buddy. <laughs> I suppose the question is, are the rest of us even anywhere near where we could hear this happening? No, because this was going on as they were going through the slums. You split off from them. And, and I made a very wise decision. Yeah. Wait, I have an idea. Yeah. I'm gonna stop the guard, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the guard before, and I'm gonna say, how about a trade instead? I have information on someone that you might want. Yo. In exchange for her getting released. You'll have to talk to the captain down at the jail about that. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Fuck it. I, I can't. Without getting us, without getting the entire city on me, I have no other idea except just go with them. Hey, guard, uh, what do you guys, do you guys have any ties with the guild, or like, could the guild help us? We have a guild, buddy. Which guild are you talking about? Bar guild. Uh, bar guild. I've had them in my jails more times than not. <laughs> Let's just go with him and get the fine out of the way. Let's just awesome. Go. No, I'm not going. Fine, then. You go catch up with other people. I'm just going to go with him to the, to the jail to get the freaking... Get yeah. out of there. I let them know. Right. And don't tell them you know me. Obviously, we haven't been reported. Just keep moving. Okay. Alright. I'm going to head back to wherever the meetup was. Okay. So, back at the meetup, um, Edward and Raikou. Um, can you hear me right? Yes. Um, so you to were, my knowledge... You were right down at the base of where the ascension is. Yeah. Um, and to my knowledge, me and Edward were gonna go buy stuff. Alright. Right. So we, I, I mean, that whole list I sent you, everything but obviously the stuff that's weapons, um, I purchase with that. <laughs> yeah, same here. Alright, and uh, I'll see, I'd like for you to give me a investigation check. This isn't because I'm being stolen from, is it? No, this is so that way you can actually find them, see how easily you... 19. <laughs> So, as you come down with your eagle eye view, as you're slowly being let down by the tornado that is this elevator, <laughs> um, you do see them off in the distance, not too terribly far away, just maybe about 300 feet away from the, uh, feet. yeah. Okay, um, I will, is, like, how big is the safe area that's, like, guarded? <laughs> The guards are in the immediate vicinity of this thing, and looking out, you see, um, you see them down there, and you see maybe four guards throughout the entire marketplace. Oh. Um. And you do actually <laughs> notice that there are quite a few more guards going around the slums than the marketplace. Oh, right, because this place isn't very big. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, this place hey, is in the slums, map? though, right? That's not. No. No, okay. The I, slums, I, I as Gilforth explained, is that black area. Yeah, I didn't know which side of the black area. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, hmm. I'm in the market area. You're so right. what's the inner area? Uh, that's just, um, 
in between the yellow and the black space, that wasn't anything that he marked down. It's just a few normal, moderate Limited. living houses, yeah. Okay. Well, hello, guards. How are you today? Oh, God, it's him again. Listen, I'm not going to be annoying about this. Um, I'm not annoying, really. Um, how are you? Good, good. So, I don't really want to go out and be not guarded. <laughs> I'll be honest. Are you looking to hire some protection? Well, no, I just don't really plan on being down here very long. I'm just here to get my friends. Then go get your friends. I don't want to be stolen from. I look so fancy. You got a pick. Could, hmm, could I give you an amount of money to go and call them over to me? How Wait, much money are we talking Wait about? a minute, I'm a bard, they can hear me. I'm loud as fuck. <laughs> uh, Riker? Hello? Hello? Riker? Um, I would like for Riker and Edward to give me perception checks. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna go off Edwards, because I can't roll right now. <laughs> I'm actually in a car, so... <laughs> but yeah, or can oh, you roll for me? That's up to you. I'll roll for you. I think I think I got All right. it. I'll, I'll oh, be yeah. I'll be at my desk in like fifteen minutes, so so that's okay. no trouble. All right, so uh, yeah, you do hear Aussie's high pitched voice. High pitch. So I think like I, I think we finish off our uh, like deals and sales and stuff. And like head over to where Aussie is then. Yeah, I'd probably tell you about it. So yeah, we head back over. Uh, Hello, I've got like an entire backpack full of stuff now. <laughs> yeah, I got like rope, grappling hooks, like a, I'm carrying like a ten foot pole that's just sticking out of my bag. Hello, everyone. These <laughs> Hello. are my friends. The guard. Oh, yeah, I'm also wearing nicer clothes. Hear me. By the way, Aussie, here are your clothes back. Oh, you can keep them. I've bought replacements. And as you look I at really Aussie, he this. has this <laughs> extremely fine cloak that's just flowing in a non-existent wind. His hair shifts and almost flows like an anime protagonist. Um, it's very interesting to look at. Here's the problem with that. I've never seen any anime, so I don't know what you mean. Really? I... <laughs> basically, hero, basically, he looks like your stereotypical hero stance. <laughs> Wind blowing my fabulous rainbow cloak and hair. Like, if there was a rock, he'd have his like. If there was a rock, he'd have his foot up on it, like presenting himself, kind of majestic. Yeah. Okay, I, I have a thing for this. Um... Okay. Oh boy, here we go. As soon as I get to my computer, I will look at it. Okay. <laughs> but I, I was, I'm having an issue with that visualization. I was like, anime protagonist, I don't know what that means. And if anyone's interested, I posted my outfit in the chat. Yeah, oh, I yeah. I love it's it. Very hard to not see it. <laughs> so, um. He's tried. How are you? <laughs> I think, I think Riker just looks at him and says something like, well. And he, like, pulls off his backpack and says, like, I have all this. And he, like, opens his backpack and, like, he's got an entire backpack full of just stuff of all things. Well, I don't think that's nearly as useful. I got this sweet hat. Uh, Ooh, what does the hat do? I don't have a hat. Fuck. It's a very nice looking hat. Does it do anything? Well, no, it just looks really nice. Can I have it? No, but I can show you where I got it. It's in the marketplace, not too far from I'm here. quite alright with not going out there. <laughs> well, I do have these to sell, and I pull out my, uh, wrapped, uh, pigments. No, the wrapped pigments that, uh, we got. Well, I have a lovely relationship with the shop owner, well, with four shop owners, um, upstairs, well, if you're interested. You got a relationship with four shop owners already? I, I well, don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay, look. Not that kind of relationship, you buffoons. I mean, I talked to them, I bought some expensive things, I gave them some expensive stuff. It's great. We, we're all happy. 
okay, could these get could they get these things off of our stuff? Because I'd like to have this. Oh, most certainly. Yeah, do you know how to get our weapons and other oh. items back? Yes, when we leave the city, you say hello, guards at the gate. I would like my things back, and they go and get them from the chest that has your name on it. Okay, and if I want to sell some of the stuff that I left? Then I assume you would go back, and they would put a seal on it. Although, if it's a weapon, I doubt that they'll, like, give it to you. Maybe they got, like, something where it's, like, if it's a dagger, they put something on the dagger so it can't be used. God, like I, I turn over to one of the guards at the rise. Hello, dear. Yes. Um, how does that work, exactly? Which Selling part, exactly? Selling if weapons If he wanted is... to go and get and sell his stuff that's in the chest by the gate, how would that work for him? Selling weapons is not permitted in the city. Oh, I did, oh really? I didn't know that. That was knowledge that was previously not known by me. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was locals that could sell and buy weapons. No, there was a bit of a market for it in some of the slum areas, but it's strictly illegal. It does kind of make sense with you know entire city being made out of the cloth. You could just rip apart is... the floor. Oh, you just yeah, have another question. Fireball. Well, What's the closest city. <laughs> What's the next closest city to here, then? Well, there was... Like, actual city? Somewhere oh. I can sell my weapons at. That will not be illegal. Huh. I... Guess that would be over at... Looks at map real quick. Uh, Kaifeth. Kyleth. Oh. Let me guess, it's five know, days yeah. travel through Harsh Desert? What? No. It's like two days away. Uh, what if we have a, a camel? camel? North, south, east, west? Oh. Uh, it's uh, to the north. I think it's a second. East? I thought the north was water. Northeast. It's almost along the shore line. Lovely. Okay. And it's a day if you have a camel. Everyone, guess what? Oh. Okay. I have uh, camel! Is, in, like, is it yeah. all... Okay. Well, thank you very that's much. Ri that's right! I did work! I got us camels! Uh, yes. yeah, Where the heck are the other guys? I don't know. We're waiting for them. About this time, Alton comes... Uh, up to you. Uh... Oh. Alton, you notice them off, um, talking. There was a guard that they were about two feet away from that looks extremely annoyed. Uh, I'm just gonna watch. Uh, if they notice me, I'm gonna wave. Uh, Are you making uh, any effort to not be noticed? By the guard, yeah. Alright, roll me a stealth check and then everybody roll me a perception. Everybody. It, well, not everybody. Everybody that's in that. Yeah. Yeah. I had to find my damn thing and all the things to get open. That's not the right thing. Why is perception a bad skill for me? <clears throat> well, it's not bad. It's a plus one. But it's not a good. Exactly. Because you're good at everything else? Is perception... Oh, yeah. Perception's wisdom. So, Alton, as you come up, you kind of just, like grumbling to yourself a little bit. By the time you notice them, you look up and you trip a little bit, making a little bit of a scene. Uh, you have about three guards looking at you at the moment, as well as, well, pretty much the whole group. I wave. Hello. I'm gonna try and, like, step in front of the guards' field of vision, so I'm trying to block them a bit. Oh, there you are. I would just walk up to the group and, like, I don't know, stand behind Austin. <laughs> no, I do one? not let you think? stand by me. Well, one of you I need to stand behind. Whichever one yeah, is taller, just... preferably. So, uh, at that moment, uh, my, my pseudo-dragon, like, swoops down and, like, jumps on your shoulders and, like, wraps it, uh, herself around your, like, head. 
but like in like a like protective way. Like a like a dragon hood. Like a know. like a scarf, like so that you can't like see your face, but like you can still see. Like a hoodie. <laughs> like a scarf. Never had a scarf cover my face, but okay. I mean, you never walk. You've never put a scarf in your face. No, I put it around my neck. Well, yeah, you, like, wrap it around your neck. When it's really fucking cold, you, like, pull it up so it's, like, over your ears and shit. No, when it's really fucking cold, I deal with it. I don't care about my face being covered. That's so, weird. So, me too. Right, whatever. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> You're a weirdo. Just move on. Yeah, yeah uh, so we'll, we'll I'm hiding. for everyone else? Oh, uh... <laughs> Let me uh, guess. Nah. Someone got arrested. Uh, yeah. What? Damn it. Who do you What's think What have you people been up to? I bought clothes! <laughs> I bought clothes and had a good time! What's we wrong with you people? I leave you guys alone for, what, an hour? Maybe two? Oh, Austin doesn't know what happened to me. Right? What, what have you guys been doing that you got arrested? Uh... How many of you got arrested? Only one of us. The other one is just... You know, there, waiting. I I didn't get arrested. Fine was trying to sell daggers. I don't know why I was walking. Why was she trying to do that? I just I don't know. Perhaps she didn't understand the culture of the city of cloth. Yeah, they yeah, did. They sex. gave no warning. There was like no tolerance. Like you selling a weapon, get out of here. Well, hey, it's almost she... like they took our weapons out at the gate. Well, yeah. <laughs> of course. When is she getting out? Like, do is should we wait here? Is it like a thirty-minute fine? Uh, what? no, I don't think they're gonna let her out. But I do know that uh, selling weapons uh, is generally about a fifty to a hundred gold fine, depending on the item. Sometimes higher. Hundred. Oh. And it can end up being a month <laughs> or two in jail. But if they pay the fine, then they get out, right? Yes. Okay. So Riker, Riker looks at Ossie and says, "Do you have that cash?" Wait, no. I didn't pay you yet. Does it look? Well, of course I do. I mean, look at me. I'm rich, and I yeah, activate exactly the. What... I activate the wind again. That's exactly what I mean. Like he looks at you when you're like, like flowing robes and shit, <laughs> and he's like, "Do you have the cash?" <laughs> um, I might, but I also well, don't want to leave this area. <laughs> Look, did I mean, they say how you... much? They say how much it's gonna cost to get her out. Uh, seventy-five, I think. Well, if you can, if you can give us the cash, I'll go do it. Well, where's Jack? Oh, he's with her. Oh, well, why doesn't he pay? Right here. We don't oh. have the cash. Oh, I thought you went with her. That. Who uh, wait, with how him? much money do you all have? I have five nothing. gold. I have What's nothing there? as well. I Are you robbed. serious? I don't have the gold! Oh, see, I got robbed. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I, I remember have... that. I'll yeah, be honest with you guys. Robbed. I spent a lot of my money. Yeah, you have like thousands of gold, so shush. I uh, do not. I took all my money. Yeah, not anymore after I mean, you those. Get like, he points to, so. Yeah, he, 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 like, Riker looks exactly directly at your clothing and says, yeah, after all that spending. These were worthwhile investments in the into the future. I'm sure what they, do they were. Do? Uh, l perhaps. I'm glad I was the one who came along with this. So we we we, we 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 seriously just don't have any of the money. Well, well, I got these bear traps I haven't sold yet. I we might be worth some. I do have thirty five gold, but that's like that's all I've got. Okay. So how much gold does everyone have? None. Five. Okay, so we have 40 so far. So... I just keep my money. And we can just go... <laughs> break her out. Why don't, you get, I... why don't you get one of your buddies to go break her out? Or how uh -huh. about this? How about this? I uh, see, you come with me and you help me set these bear... <laughs> these, help, help me set these bear traps. And we can try and come up with money the other way. Wait, 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 wait. Why do you have the bear trap? Didn't they, didn't they, didn't they want to take the bear trap? No. Oh, I took them with me. They're hunting, not... 
killing. Okay, well, yeah. I remember that now. There's that cool Fine. dude with aircraft on it. If we're gonna go off and do this. Yeah, I need Aussie's help to sell these too, and I hope to hold up the pigments again. Okay, well, let's go up to the rise, because I feel safer there. And also, it's much nicer. Why do you feel safer there? Because this they're all poor He whispers, they're all poor um, So, you're like looking around, and uh, yeah, Riker looks around and he says like, What do you mean? Poor people. I don't see any poor people around here, like looking around and like. Don't speak so loudly! I take a step away from them. And it's just a normal. And it's just like a normal part of town, and you're just like, oh, poor people. <laughs> you can see the slums from here. Yeah, but it's like a good few blocks. It's not downhill. a very big place. No, but it's down here. Yeah. I think we should just go up to the rise because it's much nicer. Also, we have that one shop owner that I really like, and he likes me, and it's great. So. Yes, guys. I sell these hunting traps there. Uh, he's more of a magical type of dude. Well, the way to find he a does also here. have a hat shop. Okay, why don't you help him sell these yeah, down yeah. here, and then we'll go up there. Uh, it'll take you ten minutes, down. and we'll watch you. Fine. God, another question. What the fuck is this noise? Oh, that's the daily um, noise-making competition. That's of why course. I hate the Bones Guild so much. I know, they're terrible. Um, God, I do have a question. Magic is allowed, right? Depends on what kind of magic if you try to set things on fire. No, completely harmless magic. I like feather fall. Most magic is fine as long as you don't use it hostily. Okay, well, good. Thank you. Um, I snap my fingers and I use disguise self to make me look like an old what? man. Oh god. Why- um, what do you plan on doing like this? I just don't want to look, you know, <laughs> um, uh, like people want to steal from me. And he's like wearing- the old man is wearing rags, and he's like hunched over. Oh god. So I'm just going to use this as a disguise. <laughs> To bring my grandchildren around the city and show them around, yes? Why don't you just go by yourself looking like that? I hate bones. What are you. Okay. Thank oh. you, Mr. Man. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, reckon... grandkids, let's go. Poppy's got bunions that need exercising. Yeah. Meanwhile! <laughs> and elsewhere! <laughs> Meanwhile! Okay. Where, who are we going to? Uh, Holden and Fine. No. Holden, did you he want- was, he was us. Oh, Holden. Yeah. Okay. Holden, was there anything that you wanted to do on the way to the jail? <laughs> on the way out of the jail, what do you want to do, dude? <laughs> Nothing. Get your phone call? I'm I not the you. one- I'm not the one who's, uh, who's in jail. I know, that's why it was funny. Come on. Keep up, man. Yeah. Not in yeah. Yeah. And I gotta switch myself over there because apparently you did it. Uh, do you guys. Oh, totally. Black for some of you. What the fuck? Sorry, I might be noisy. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright. Can everybody see? Uh, uh, yep, I see. Yeah! Yes. Alright. So, did you just go to jail peacefully, or did you want to try something along the way? I'm not gonna try anything. Fine. Do you just go along peacefully? Um, can I try to intimidate them? Oh, uh, what do you say and do? I mean, do I still have my lantern with me? Uh, yeah, it's still on you. He didn't take any of your items. Um, okay, so the fire could, like, wrap around me and puff up behind me and look really intimidating. Almost forming in the shape of wings or whatever. And I say, if you let me go right now, you won't have to suffer later. Oh, boy. Should be an intimidation check? Holy shit. Okay. She's good at intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And as you are saying this, as this is happening, this the color from this guy's face just kind of goes uh, completely gone and is just white. He stares at the fiery form behind you. Holden, you oddly see very lifelike eyes of this almost fire elemental standing behind her. There's a faint green glow just lofting off of it. It what? looks down at the man. And the man runs away. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know how to take these off, would you? Um, well, I have my tools with I have my tools with me, right? Uh, yeah, you have... They didn't take that away from you. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna try and get the handcuffs off. Alright, uh, give, give me a Thieves Tools check. It's... It takes a little bit of effort. It's, um... They're not too complicated. It's just more of a... You kind of have to boot force it a little bit. And you get it off with a moment. You now have manacles. Oh, sweet. That's way too fancy. That looks like a tentacle. Where should we go from here? Because clearly we don't want to keep going in. We have to explain that guy. Did anyone... Did anyone in there... Like, okay, so I kind of put you over there prematurely. It was... I shifted the map over to you guys, and you guys are still about, like, 150-so-odd feet away from it. Cool. Well, I mean, I think you just got rid of your fine and uh, all okay. of your stuff. So we should just walk away peacefully, I think. Yeah, let's just go quickly to the meetup spot. Do you remember where that was? It was by the entrance to the rise, wasn't it? The tornado. Okay. I made a jail and everything. I made a jail and everything after that <laughs> happened like an hour ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just Gosh. completely bypassed it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Alright. So, um... You guys go off. Um... Come along, grandkids. So, where were you guys going? Probably in the direction of the jail. Alright. You know, we were selling stuff, weren't we? I think yeah. we were going directly to the jail, and they're probably going directly uh, there. To my knowledge, to my knowledge, we were, we were going, we were going to sell stuff, and then yeah. figure out from that point. Because we need bail money. <laughs> yeah, like we don't have any cash, so. Right. Yeah. Yes. Come on, we gotta get enough money to buy me some soup tonight. Lots of soup. Yeah. The, oh, the Bear traps. Go on. You've been here. Lead me to the shop. Reputable. Hey, or Jack, or whatever. What the hell your name is? Yeah, Jack. <laughs> I'll probably just look for like a hunting shop or something. Uh, give me an investigation check. This is just another shopping episode. <laughs> it is. <laughs> There's even a jail icon and everything. Shame well, on me. I didn't me. think we'd have to get bail money. Uh, looking around, you find a place that seems to sell just random metal parts. It's not so much of a blacksmithing place as a place that blacksmith would go to get materials. That's not good enough. Yeah. Um, as you're looking at it, it... Oh, there's a sign on top that says, The Scrapyard. And it's just a, another... Tent that looks pretty uniform with the rest of them. Oh, hey, look, it's Linus. What? <laughs> Nothing. Shut up, grandkid! I smack him. Uh, right. By oh. the way, in case anyone asks, my name is Ollivander White. Great. I'm gonna head inside. You guys stay out here and keep an eye out in case Holden comes back or something. Who's White old? because you're old? What? No. <laughs> just, just stay out here, I'll be right back. I'll go inside to try and sell Don't test me, there. boy! I'm gonna have a dementia attack! 
Or it could just like literally slaps you in the face, and then you have to roll a for your disguise. No. Full an attack no. first. No. Yeah, you gotta roll an attack first for that. Just give me a plain no, strength like check because you're not proficient in hitting people with your hands. Uh, give me like, flat strength check. Watch this being at twenty. Right, give me two seconds. I have to actually oh, open roll twenty. Oh. What have you been doing? I'm uh, really? busy, man. Right. I'm just so for you. Two seconds. 